What's up guys, West Coast Picks here and today I've got this uh, Abus Half Euro that was sent to me by Potty314 with all those other Half Euros that he sent me in that awesome package. There's probably like 12 or 13 of them in there and uh, this is one of them. So as you can tell he's been picked on before. It's a little rough, a lot of top of the keyway it looks like and scratches around the keyhole and stuff. That's, that's normal. Um, it is a five pin and uh, pretty drastic bidding too. I like those really deep cuts in the middle. Let's see what it might take to get into this. So uh, lately I've been talking instead of uh, just keeping quiet while I pick so I won't break from tradition and I'll uh, tell you guys a little story about me. Um, I won't start too far back and save that for another video, but uh, I've had a pretty interesting life here, guys. Um, I, when I was about 21, uh, 21, 22, something like that, I married uh, an American. Uh, we met uh, online and, you know, traveled back and forth to uh, long distant relationships and stuff. And after a couple of years of that, we got married and I actually moved out to uh, the States and I lived there for about six years, six, seven years while I was married. And uh, I uh, lived in Texas and I lived in uh, Michigan. So in Texas I lived in a place called uh, North Richland Hills. It was in the uh, DFW area, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And uh, in, oh I also lived in Lubbock for about a year because uh, my ex-wife was uh, going to Texas Tech University. Um, and in Michigan, I lived in uh, Shelby Township, which is about 27 miles in Van Dyke. And I, uh, I worked in Rochester. So, you know, I, I actually enjoyed my time <laughs> living in the States, and uh, I liked it a lot. I liked the freedom. I liked... Uh, like the people, all that stuff. So, um, uh, I got a full set out of one. So, you know, if you're following what I've been going through, there we go, we're open. If you've been following what I've been going through uh, lately, um, you know, just know that it's not that big of a deal. I, I have options. You know. One of those options might not be getting this clip off, though. How the hell am I going to do that? Yeah, but one of my options could be actually moving back to the U.S., getting a transfer, and, um, well, depending on who, in the, who wins the election, uh, getting a transfer. And uh, my, the company I work for is multi, multinational. They're uh, everywhere around the world. Uh, you know, Germany, and Sweden, and pretty much everywhere, um, and I might be able to transfer, so, you know, that's always an option, I could always transfer to the States or somewhere else in Canada where it's more affordable, um, shit, that sucks, the only problem with that is, uh, all my friends and family live out here, and I don't want to move away, I mean, I was terribly homesick when I moved out to the States. Um, I think I only came home once in like the seven years I was out there. And uh, yeah, I get pretty homesick, so it's not uh, it's not good for me. How am I gonna do this? Hopefully I can get that back in after. <laughs> yeah, so that's an option. And another option is just buckle down, pay the extra rent, and not have any money for, for locks and shipping and stuff. I mean, it sucks. My, my hobby might have to die because of it. Which is a shame because it's literally, it's my favorite thing in the world. I wish I found this hobby a long time ago. I really love lock sport. I love picking new locks that I buy. And, Oh, there's security pins in this thing. No wonder it was a little bit of a bitch. <laughs> so we got serrated. 
standard. It's weird because uh, I've picked other Avis Euros and they didn't have maybe a spool or two in them, but not none of this crazy stuff. Maybe Potty gave me something fancy here. It's T pin, key pin, T pin, serrated. Yeah, and these almost look like uh, well, I guess they're factory pins, but crazy. This must be a little bit higher priced Avis than normal. Yeah, so the other option is just buckle down and not have all the uh, benefits they have now. Oh, it's a T-pin spool on one. Crazy. Oop. Steel pin on two. Oh, another spool T-pin. This is a crazy little lock so far. Oh, another spooled T pin on four. Wow, and a badass serrated on five. Look at that. Alright, I'll pull this up for you guys. You can see it. Sorry, it took me a bit to get the clip off, but that's what we got in there. And, uh, come on. There we go. It's actually hard to get this thing to focus sometimes. Yeah. But it's a cell phone, so if you touch the screen where you want it to focus, it'll focus there. So you can see five is just a badass rated pin. And then we got three of these spooled T pins. And a standard, and then a bunch of serrateds and a key pin, T pin, and a keyed spool. And I guess these are all standard. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before in a Navis. All right, guys, have a good one.